Yes, really. It's the Going Off Podcast with a very special review. What are we talking about this week, sir? Well, this week, uh, there was this album that people kept kept talking to me about. They're like, oh, you should review this, you should review this. So, uh... Are you talking I, about that album that, like, when everyone's talking about modern-day classics and, you know, names like Illmatic get thrown around, fucking uh, Stankonia, some people throw that one around. Are you talking about the sometimes uh, criminally overlooked, highly underrated, but, yes, yeah, so as I said... Some people consider a classic of its day, Polarity Switch? I wasn't going to say all that shit, but yeah, all right, all right. you know, you could argue. <laughs> One could make that argument that it is the bee's knees. Yeah, yeah. It, it, if one were to be so pressured. Mm. So why the fuck are we talking about this? Well, I, I got a lot of requests, you know, there was a lot of people talking about it, a lot of people, uh saying that they wanted to check it out so and, and they wanted to know my opinion on it i, I don't know why but i, I guess we'll get into sure. it sure get into it man let's hop right in okay so this guy master artisan i've heard i've heard a lot of stuff about him uh i heard some of his underground tapes o- that were over the years yeah 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 like last six years or so um heard some of his underground tapes mm. uh, stuff like that um i don't know it, it, it was cool so uh but I haven't been. I hear he has the... a lot of unreleased stuff that people haven't heard that I would really, really love to get my hands on one of these days. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. He seems very safeguarded in that. But let's get to the matter at hand. Uh, uh, is some mm-hmm. music that? Uh, I, 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 what, what would you say about him? What would you say about him? About Master Artisan himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of him as like an artist? I guess. Uh, he's very elusive. I will say that. Uh, kind of eccentric up there with uh, maybe like an Earl sweatshirt. But as far as the, um, the, the quality of this album, um, as far as when, when did this come out, Polarity Switch? This was like 2012, I think. I think he was still like, I think he was just going into college at this time. Okay, was this the second album? This was the second official release for him, yeah. And because the first one he did in high school, this one I think he oh. wrote it while he was in high school and he recorded it before he went to college, something like that. Oh, okay. Well, you could definitely tell there was growth. There was substantial growth from the uh, from the first release to this one. Um, really, really goes ham on those choruses. <laughs> Let can we, all right. Look, let's, uh, do you want to just go into it? Yes. Let's tear away the red tape. All right. So you get... So this album is like a concept album, right? Yes. And he's... It's like... I don't know. He he doesn't expressly say... It. Like, have you heard... You know the intro? Uh, Yes. Where he says, like, satire? Like, he gives the description of satire or some shit? Where you could hear it for about ten seconds, and then it just kind of fades away <laughs> into the into the abyss, and you can't hear what he's saying anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I think... Have you ever seen the movie Bamboozled? No, actually, I haven't. I think he was doing something like that, where it was like... Because that movie was supposed to be satire. Right. And so this album was supposed to be satire. Like, some shit like that. I don't know. Ah, uh, just okay. making a guess. But it, it does seem like it. Um... Apparently he's big into Spike Lee movies, so I mean that's I, that seems like a cool connection. Um, ah, but then then and then it does like weird noises and there's this drum beat. I don't know, like it it comes back. It's like this weird thing. Like every well, okay, so it's called Polarity Switch and there's like ten songs, right? Mm-hmm. And five of them, I guess, are about this one guy who's like an asshole, <laughs> and the other half are yeah. kind of like. What if he wasn't an asshole? I think I, I'm not 100 percent sure. So yeah, um, <laughs> the, the first five are from what I thought were just from. I, I thought it was two different people. I thought that the first half of the album was from like this mainstream guy, and the second half was Master Artisan being like, "Hey, you know what? That's whack shit. This is this is the real <laughs> deal." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. I, I didn't. I didn't get uh, that they were like maybe one person, but two sides of the coin. I didn't get that so much. No, I. I mean, I, I'm not saying 100. percent I. I don't know. I, I can't say I know what he was. The fucking dude was thinking, but. Um. The oh, first... so th- this is clearly speculation then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from what I oh, can okay. infer from listening to the album, you know what I mean. 
Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So we ha- so we have the first song. You want to just bring it down track by track? Or yes. do you want to Yeah, so the first song is honestly my favorite. Um the, the beat's a little the beat works a little different from everything else. It feels like it was done on another uh thing, but I like it. it it's basically doing like a, a satire of rappers, but he's still bragging. <laughs> you know, it's like he's got to having his cake and eating it too. Like he's like, "Oh, look how braggadocious I am." But seriously, check out these punchlines though. It's <laughs> Uh, See, that fucking chorus uh, is like cut down. You cut down like a tree, so call me the lumberjack. Shut down like a company when the stock market crashed. Dude, that's some fucking dope shit right there. <laughs> um. See, with cut down, I didn't. Um, I didn't get that that was supposed to be like an asshole. I just thought that was just kind of like here's here's my skill. I didn't really think that that was uh, so much of the polar opposite. Of the well, last track, but the, the uh, but but you hear the difference, right? Like on the last one, he's like, "Yo, I'm tired of rappers just bragging all the time and not being clever." Although, ironically, I think he is being kind of clever, so it kind of ruins it. <laughs> See, here's my thing with this album. Okay. If if we're gonna break it down to brass tacks, all right. And and I hate to skip ahead, but this is just an overall thing. I felt that because. We, you know, no spoilers, but the fr- like we had said, first five tracks are from one side, then there's an interlude, which I don't know where the fuck those noises came from or what program was used to make that <laughs> interlude. <laughs> Some weird techno shit. I, I don't know what the fuck that was. I honestly, think he just, I honestly think he just put together some sounds that was supposed to sound scientific or some shit. <laughs> I wonder why he would do that. <laughs> Like, like, you know, cause like polarity anyway. switch, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think he was doing like some sort of like, oh, things are switching or something. Oh, okay. I see. So then it, it acts like a mirror because the first, the last track before the interlude is called Logos. And then the track right after the interlude is Logos 2, which is the retraction. So it goes like, it goes like a graph. It's five to one, and then it's negative one to negative five, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I felt that because the tracks weren't all that different, I think maybe the songs could have been one half of the song one side, the other half of the song the other side. I didn't Wait, know no, if what? I didn't know if two songs about the exact same thing but from different sides, was maybe a bit of overkill? Wait, 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 what do you mean? I'm saying, like, if the first half of Strength in Numbers was about, you know, I'm in a gang and I have backup, but then the second half of it was, you know, you gotta be yourself, fuck that shit. Because with with, with the satire that, that was being talked about in the intro... You already yeah. get a sense that you're not supposed to be taking the track serious because it is kind of like, yeah. t- like tongue in cheek. So at that point, you already know the other the other take of it because, you know, it's being satirical. So when you hear a whole second song being the like counter side of it, you're like, "Well, yeah. I knew that." Well, I don't know. I I like uh, I like logos and logos too because I think it kind of took it to a different place like Logos are just like, oh, he's just flashing all this shit. And then, that like, one, I thought... That was different. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that was, like, a starkly different perspective. You know what I mean? I will um, say that, and inspiration and uh, such a player also. Uh, one thing that was a little off-putting... Um, well, I mean, this is, like, an underground, like, purely independent sort of album. You know what I mean? Sure. So, like, yes. you didn't have any, like, label backing or whatever, or any label. Like, mm-hmm. this seems to be, like, purely independent. So, I get it if it's not, like, fucking Dr. Dre production quality. Like, you know what I mean? It, it still sounded good, though, for what it was. You, you think so? Uh, yeah. Uh, th- There were a couple tracks in particular. God, I forget which one it was, but the beat I was just, like... Damn, um, I think it might have been the beat to, uh, oh, I think it might have been the beat to Working Hard, because, like, it had such a, or, 
Actually, I'm not sure. I'd have to hear it because I I just listened to it earlier today. But just to be reminded, because it wait, went, how did like, it go? How did I don't remember? It switched up like twice, so I was just like, oh shit! Like it went in different directions that I wasn't expecting, and it uh, it it had much better production than I thought the rest of the album did because it uh, the, it surprised me. It is it the one with the little no 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 that one? I I don't remember offhand. Are you serious? Don't, don't put me on the spot. I'm trying to remember <laughs> here, and you're grilling me. God damn it. <laughs> Try to do a motherfucking album review. You don't remember what the goddamn music sounds like. <laughs> but I, I'll, uh, I'll say now, my see, complaint. Uh, well, I, I just want to say, I feel like the first half, production-wise, is a little stronger than the second half. Hmm. I disagree. Well, no, no, because... No, because Logos, I think, was... Actually, Logos was really good. The da 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 And then when they get the little... Are you sure you mm-hmm. want to talk about that one? Like, where it had all the strings and shit? Uh, See, I think... I, I like I like when he does the classical stuff. I, I, I hope he does more, like, classical sort of crossover things. Because I think that's when he does it best. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, just for me. Uh, oh, what, what um, were you gonna what say? I was gonna say though, as I alluded to earlier, really going ham on these choruses. Um, I felt they repeated a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, fucking such a player. Yeah, like uh, his vocal, almost the whole his vocals last like... minute and a half of some of these songs is repeating <laughs> chorus. <laughs> the fucking vocals though were like way too goddamn strong. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Although. Um. I did appreciate what? the singing in um, in Working Hard, even though that song totally didn't require that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what do you say? We'll be working hard. We'll yeah, be like hard. A hard. Like, th- that song didn't need that, but I appreciated the effort put into it. <laughs> what, th- wait, did you like it or not? I did. I did. Oh, I thought you were Although, like, I appreciate I, that he worked, you know. He <laughs> that he worked so hard. Although I do think wor- <laughs> I did think working hard might have been one of the weaker tracks. Yeah, working hard and individual production-wise, it kind of felt like, I don't know, like it was the last, it felt like they were the last ones made. Oh, you think so? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Because like individual, like it doesn't, does it even have a bass line? Like it's just like. Like it's <laughs> hey man, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna crack down on minimal production because I I really I was more or less trying to focus on the lyric on the lyricality which I thought was very strong. Okay, no, okay. This is what I want to say about the lyrics though. He has a just thing about like <laughs> when the lyric is. At the end of the line, he's never, like, finished with the sentence a lot of the time. Uh, example. So, like, it would, like, spill over and shit. Oh, yeah. He was, like, something about, uh, um, I, I did it something that, uh, uh, something that was, like, rhymes with matter. And then, uh, they only liked me because I copied someone else's mannerisms. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> There was, was like, like a, maybe. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I felt like there were a lot of moments like that. It, it it didn't happen in Cut Down and Oh Really, which I guess either he wrote those first or he wrote those last. But like, it felt like there were a lot of times where um, it would be like, here is the rhyme, and here is the other rhyme in the rest of the sentence, and here's the. Na- <laughs> mm. You know what I mean? And so it kind of like it kind of messed with the flow a little really, bit. You know, it it messed with it a little bit, but. It, I think it was, it was just tr- so much trying to be said in the song that, yeah, like I I didn't really, I didn't either. I didn't notice it so much, or it didn't bother me so much because I thought like other things made up for it. Oh okay, yeah, but uh, I will say, dude, is super lyrical. Um, the flows are a little weird sometimes uh is definitely get that this is like a young dude you know what i mean i did get a krs1 feel from most of this really i was thinking del the funky homo sapien really but, you know. yeah i was getting more yeah. of like a bdp production era krs1 uh, but you know del has like such a stronger flow and shit you know mm. 
like he has flow like just like crazy this kind of seems like like it's almost there but it's just he just needs to take out a couple of words you know like he needs to learn how to condense so basically you're saying that my compliment wasn't enough no, no, I, I mean, dude, you can... That, that, I, that I wasn't complimenting strong enough by comparing him to KRS-One in his prime. I'm sorry. No. I thought that was enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just okay. don't think he sounds like that. I think he sounds like... Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. <laughs> but like I said, the production, I feel like, isn't as strong in the second half. The flows get kind of wonky. I don't want to trash the choruses so much, but that was, like, I, I thought the weakest parts of the song, like the, uh, oh, the call and response. I wasn't a big fan of the call and response. Which was, Strength in Numbers? Uh, Strength in Numbers, now, I think there might have been another one that had that, but it just felt like it might have been a little bit, like, filler. Really? A little oh, bit. Oh, I know what you're thinking about. Just the individual, bit. hey, the individual eye. <laughs> oh, where yeah, did, I wasn't a big fan of that. Where he did the fucking... But, and he uh, did the vowels? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was talking more like the strength and what? Strength and numbers. And the what do we need it? Now, because how, how many people, if you had to guess... Now, I'm just saying, like, you know, with your keen ear. How many people would you have to say voices are being used in, in the response in the call and response? <laughs> I'm just curious to hear your take. Uh, I heard two on Strength in Numbers. Okay. Yeah, one of them was actually a chick. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, one of them. There was one part where I could swear someone was doing like a Scottish accent. Did you hear that? Hmm. That was weird. Go back and listen to that. <laughs> which, I think it was. Which one? Strength yeah, in Numbers. Yeah, I think he was trying to do different voices. <laughs> There was one track, I think, oh, in Logos, where it was like, Oh, no, dude, that shit was hilarious. The fuck? I didn't say it wasn't, I like that. <laughs> he got the Logos. I was just pointing it out. <laughs> the Logos. Uh, I like that. No, oh, shit, I forgot about that. Uh, so, remember how he censors the chorus? Yeah. That shit was fucking hilarious. I'll give a damn what you say. I, I thought it would have been hilarious if it was done maybe once. <laughs> But it, after a while, it was like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> oh, this is the actual chorus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I thought this was a lead-in to a chorus, but no, oh, okay. <laughs> and then that one guy was no, just but, like, yo, man, you got money, man, yo. <laughs> I did like that. I, I liked that it uh, it reminded me of uh, so, of some of the character works in, um, in say, your reviews. Uh, so well, it mirrored well, that. You know how, like, Biggie Smalls, bit. Biggie Smalls, like... You know on, uh, what was his first album? Where he did that Gimme the Loot song? Where it was, like, this other guy, but it was yeah. actually him? Oh, I didn't know that was yeah, him. Yeah, see? Like, a lot of people were like, dude, is that, like, who Who the hell is that other rapper? He's like, no, it's just him. He just raised his voice a little bit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, I mean, like, that's a thing. Like, uh, I think Digital Underground. Yeah, they did the same thing. Hmm. With Humpty Hump. It, come on, please tell me you don't think Humpty Hump is, is uh, a different person than Shock G. No, I knew that. <laughs> I've been fooled for years. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, now I think is a nice tune. Um, the, the production was really nice on that one. And such a player mm. was... I felt like the, the hi-hat was a little too loud, but... It, oh, it was a nice yeah. melody, mm-hmm. though, that... Uh, how did it go? Dee, 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 that one. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Mm-hmm. Working hard. The inspiration. Okay. So that song was like, <laughs> you know, I, I feel like when he doesn't have choruses, that's when they're oddly more interesting. I don't know. Like just for this album, I don't know about the rest, but um, like logos two, and inspiration. Oh, well, those are the only two ones without choruses. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> but uh, the. Th- those do happen to be two of the more interesting tracks, though. So I guess where you're he right. starts like fucking breaking down and shit. Yeah, but he was like, "Oh, oh god, <laughs> oh no!" <laughs> yeah. He was like, "Wait, no, no, it's cool. Just keep it going." <laughs> like, cause it started to feel less like a rap and more like he was just like talking, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, and and I loved Oh Really. Oh Really was fucking awesome. Oh Really is that fucking jam. 
Yeah. The fucking trumpets and shit. Da -da 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 I think if he had some Dober production, worked on the flows, I think he'd be tight. Mm -hmm. uh, but as it is, yeah. it, as it is though, as it is right now, I would say Ooh. that this is one of the most. Yeah, what's up now, what bitch? The Master A gonna stretch your ass out. Hey, Come what here. the hell? Yeah, oh, what's up, yeah. bitch? You yeah, take this shit. Yeah, bitch, you don't like this, do you? Do you? Motherfucker. I'm gonna kick your ass. Out. Yeah, take this, oh, take this, Darren. and this. Darren. Oh, and some of these. Darren. You are is everything yeah, okay? You this, oh. motherfucker. Oh, Holy shit. shit. Your motherfucking I, ass, motherfucker. I can't do anything yeah. about Move this. Like your car. You like your car? Check the shit out. Yeah, I'm gonna move your shit. Come here, motherfucker. I'm gonna beat your ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Review this, My phone's dead. Oh, My phone's oh, dead. Oh, I can't. I can't call for help. Yeah, yeah. You like that, don't you? Oh, I bet you don't. I bet you don't. Yeah, right there. Yeah, get this foot for a bitch. Yeah, it's time for this, motherfucker. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm bored with that shit. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, motherfucker. Tell me what you think about that. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. this is one of the most ambitious the albums fucker. I've heard so far. Huh? Uh, oh, really? Oh, man. Oh. I should probably stop punching you now. Uh, Whoa. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> is everything okay? Uh, uh. Uh, oh. So out of five, uh, maybe, hmm. maybe a four. Hmm. I'll agree. Yeah. I'd say four. I think I. Yeah, I think four is fair. Yeah, yeah, four. Four is fair. Hmm. This motherfucker just sword fight me? With like with like an actual sword. Yeah. Okay. And like he brought another one Whoa. for me to use. Wow. The yeah, I was How did he even know where you were? I don't know. Hmm. I, he, he had a he has a similar build to mine, but I don't want to put out an APV because I don't I don't want to get arrested for beating my own ass. <laughs> I don't know why he was uh so harsh. I mean I, I I gave it a four. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, he didn't know that Maybe, yet. Yeah, true. Maybe he should have waited a little while longer. Perhaps. Do you think he was, like, waiting somewhere? Like, listening the whole time? And just getting angrier and angrier? Hmm. He was ambitious, yes, but maybe not so patient. Yeah. He just should have yeah. waited for the fucking... For the... <coughs> ooh. For the... At <coughs> oh, God. For the rating, to yeah. Come through. Sorry, sorry. I think one of my ribs is cracked. It's all good. Oh, mm, well, that's not good. Okay. Well, hey, you know, I'm... at least you were able to enjoy a uh, a marginally um, ambitious and um, uh, lyrical, as as we had said, uh, album that for someone listening to a completely independent album from 2012. Uh, would more than likely be pleasantly surprised by. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's some consolation, right? Besides the <laughs> hospital bills. <coughs> mm. And uh, probably the cleaning the blood out of the carpet, which I'm sure will yeah. have to happen also. Yeah, the only blood. That's mm. the only fluid that came out. No. Motherfuckers can't take any criticism. This is the fuck is wrong with this game and shit. I was way harsher on the album than you were. I know! Why the fuck didn't he beat your ass? Doesn't know where I live, I suppose. Fuck. Well, god damn it. Hey, come back. No. Hey. Oh. Hey, where'd you go? I don't think that's wise. I gotta give you his address, too. You gotta kick his ass, too. No. No. I don't think that's necessary. Hey. That's not professional. Where, where can people find this uh, this album if, if they wanted to hear it for themselves? I think they can find it on... Uh... I think they can find it. Uh. Mm. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, shit. There's more than two teeth that are loose. Okay. Oof. Well, I think they can find it on... Uh, uh, it's on Spotify. It's on Spotify. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Amazon, CD Baby, some other shit. And, uh, you know, if you enjoy it, you know, check it out. Um, If you don't... 
don't say anything about it, apparently. Yeah, especially not in a public forum. Well, anyway, um, this has been uh, cool. Yeah, I had fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you had fun to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah, mm, at, at, at first. a certain point. Mm. Yeah, definitely. So for but. the uh, for this special edition of the Going Off podcast with an extra special review of the extra special album by the extra special Master Artisan. And an extra special motherfucker guest. <laughs> mm. I'm Muse. And I'm in pain. <laughs> and uh, if there is a next time, until then... I don't even know. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, no. <coughs> so this review was brought to you in part by uh, a challenge that I did on the website called challenge, but minus the E dot org. Uh, that's not the name of the whole site. It's it's just challenge dot org. But uh, that would be weird if it was called challenge, but without the E, but like without the E at the end, dot org. Especially since you would already see that it didn't have the E when you were <laughs> typing it. No, uh, yeah, challenge.org. Uh, shout out to Benjamin Mosh, who came to me w- with uh, the idea. And, um, you know, if people, you know, want to check it out, they thought it was cool, they can go there and leave ideas for a ne- uh, the next challenge that I might, you know, do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, apparently, they're doing a thing where you can, like, submit ideas and I can see what they suggested. And, you know, it, it, like, other people can see what they suggested and people can, like, vote on them and be like, hey, hey, they want you to do this thing. So, oh, okay. yeah. A- and uh, 60% of the proceeds is going to water.org, which is this organization that um, uh, makes sure people have clean water. Uh, across the world. Mm-hmm. No, but uh, the, 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 there was a really great thing. Anyone who uh, who donated and made that a reality and uh, brought the album review that you heard today as a result. So thank you very much. Even if you, you know, no matter how much you donated, every bit is appreciated. Yeah, uh, for all the donations, thank you. And if you're like, dude, fuck you, I don't need you. I can just donate to it myself. Yes, please do that. <laughs> It's the intent. Yeah, exactly. And you know, some people were like, "Hey, I want to donate, but I also want to see him. I want to see him do some stupid shit." So I did that stupid shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If not, I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> you have my preemptive apology. <laughs> but you know, uh, we, we we try to have fun. Yep. You know. <laughs> Whoa.